How's it going, everybody? My name's Luke, and today I wanted to show y'all my brand new, completely free slap bass VST that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. So the other day I was watching some Davey 504 and I decided that I wanted to learn how to play slap bass. Uh, however, there were two big problems. One, while I knew how to play the bass, I wasn't the best at it. And two, I didn't even own a bass. So I did what any pianist does whenever they want to learn a new instrument. And I tried to find a VST of it online. Uh, so while looking online, uh, I found a couple and for the most part, they were not too bad in terms of like their price. I think they were around 30 or $40. However, either way, not everybody has 30 or $40 to spend on a, a VST. Uh, so I went ahead and just bought a bass. So that way I could uh, go ahead and just record my own sample pack and give it out to y'all guys for free. So with that being said, I'm gonna play for y'all guys a quick demo that I made using this bass VST, and then I'll get into the actual walkthrough. Yeah, so uh, the the demo itself isn't anything special. Uh, however, I think the bass sounds pretty good. Uh, now, installation of this instrument is actually really easy. So you basically just download the Sforzando. You basically just download the Sforzando plugin. I'll put a link to the actual website uh, itself down in the description. Uh, however, once you got that done, you basically just need to go to the folder that your uh, instrument is in. Let me see if I can just open it up from here. Um, I can't. Let me pull up the folder really fast. That way I could show y'all. Okay, so y'all's folder finder, you should have these three in there. I have a backup in mind just in case something happens to the original. However, y'all should have the MIDI samples and the slap bass.sfz. So you basically just drag and drop this slap bass.sfz uh, you basically just drag and drop that into this little window, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into the actual articulations really fast. So uh, I'm going to start out with the different velocity layers that I have. Uh, so in the lower velocity layer, we actually have the thump sounds. And so I went ahead and turned off my uh, guitar rig that I have going on. That way y'all get the true raw sound. Let me turn off the EQ as well. Uh, but yeah, so in the lowest velocity layer, you have this. So they're just kind of like, you know, muted, muted thumps. Uh, and then in the middle velocity layer is where we actually have the, the actual like slap sound that you get. Uh, and then in the top velocity layer, you have your pops. Uh, and so this goes from, I believe, C sharp two up to D3, if I'm not mistaken. So it goes from this key Uh, and then after that, we also have hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of those for y'all. So yeah, so it's, uh, it's spent a lot of time getting some good hammer on samples for y'all. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the actual playable instrument. I think the only other thing is the actual range of it goes from E1 up to, I believe, E4, E5. Let me see. Yeah, so E1 up to E4. Um, and near the top of the instrument, that's more just like... Uh, 
what's the word? That's more just playable base range. There's no special articulations that happen up there, but it's mainly there if y'all just wanted to have some higher stuff going on. Uh, now, after that, we also have the sound effects. Uh, so these are just bass slides along with some scrape sounds. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and play a couple of those for y'all. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the instrument. So it's again not a super, you know, it's not anything grand. However, it's something that sounds better than most default bass slap bass sounds that you would find on a keyboard. Uh, and so then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play for y'all a little bit of the bass part with no effects on it, um, and no background music or anything like that. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if y'all like what y'all see, then feel free to check it out in my Gumroad store. I'll put a link to that down below. And if you like this video and you wanna see me make more of these instruments for y'all, then uh, please feel free to subscribe, like the video, uh, and hit the no notification bell if you really like what you see. Uh, and with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, week, weekend, uh, whatever it may be, and I'll see y'all guys in the next video.